Welcome to Electro Online. Sometimes they will ask you find the equation of the line and they're going to give you some information. The way they give that information can be in various ways. And here are six examples of what they might give you and then ask you for the equation of the line. They may give you both the y-intercept and the slope. Well, if they give you that, that makes it easy because you simply take those two numbers, plug them in here, and voila, you have the equation. Anything else, you'll have to do a little bit more work. Sometimes they'll give you the slope and one point on the line. Well, the slope, that's already gives you half the battle. You simply take the slope and plug it in for M, and now you simply have to use the point to find the y-intercept. Notice that usually the way you solve that problem is you first, if you haven't already been given the slope, you find the slope if you're given two points, and that way you can find the ratio of the rise of the run, and that gives you the slope. The second thing you're going to do, once the slope is calculated, let's say the slope is 2, whatever it may be, then simply take the values, the x and y coordinates of the point, and plug them in for y and x here, and then you solve for b, which gives you the y-intercept. So let's see how that applies to the rest of the examples. Let's say they give you two points. Well, if they give you two points, you're going to use those two points for step one to find the slope. Once you have the slope, you take one of the two points, plug them into your x and y into the equation here to solve for b, the y-intercept. If, if they give you a y-intercept and a point, that's in essence kind of the same thing as given two points, except they already gave you the value for the y-intercept. Then to find the slope, you simply take the x and y coordinates of these two points, the y-intercept and the other point that's given, to find the slope, and then you find the m and b for that equation. What if they give you a point in the x-intercept? Well, then the x-intercept simply becomes your second point. You're going to use the two points to first find the slope, then once you have the slope, you take one of your two points, well, it could be the x-intercept, and you plug them in for x and y, and then you find the y-intercept. And finally, sometimes they give you both the x-intercept and the y-intercept. It makes it easy to graph. All you have to do is connect the two dots, and there's the line. But how about the equation of the line? Well, the same applies. These have x and y coordinates. You use those to find, first of all, the slope, the ratio of the rise of the run. Once you've done that, you find the slope. Now you take the x and y value of one of the two points, either the x or the y-intercept, plug them in in order to find the y-intercept. And after that, well, let's see here. The best thing to do probably is, well, it doesn't really matter. You can use either one. And then, you, once you have the y-intercept, you have your equation. So you can see, it doesn't really matter how they give it to you. It's all about finding the slope. Either they give you the slope or you calculate it using the coordinates of the two points and then plug one of the values or one of the sets of values, x and y values, into this equation once you have the slope to find the intercept. And it really doesn't matter how they give the problem to you. And that is how it's done.